with a first alert weather day update. It is a nasty day across our area. We have got heavy rain pounding the upstate in western North Carolina at this hour. We've already seen lightning. Mm. We've heard thunder and a threat of severe weathers on the way. That's why it's a Fox Carolina first alert weather day. Yeah, we've been tracking this system since last week, and it's a big one impacting your day, even keeping your kids home from school. So right now, our Fox Carolina team coverage spans across Spartanburg, Greenville, and Anderson counties, and we're on the move as the radar changes. Now here in the studio, our first alert meteorologist, there they're watching this minute by minute and preparing you for the entire day. You see them on the left hand side there are Christy Kohler and Catherine Noel. On the right are traffic expert Chris Scott keeping an eye on those very wet roads. But we do want to begin with Christy and Catherine this morning. What are we seeing out there? Yeah, good morning, ladies, and good morning to all of you at home. Catherine, we've been watching this all morning long. Yeah. Started up around midnight, and this is continuing to be very heavy this morning. Yeah, it's not slowing down out there. So think about that, too. We've seen inches of rainfall for some of us already. We still have more widespread rain to come, and then the chance for strong to severe storms on top of that. Yeah, and when we talk about these thunderstorms that we're seeing across the area, you can see that we've got a cluster of thunderstorms that's popping up here down into Elbert County, down around Elberton into the Coldwater area. This cluster of thunderstorms is headed towards Calhoun Falls, Lownsville, uh, continuing to hear that thunder out towards Lake Secession and eventually moving in towards Abbeville as well. And I want to zoom out for a second because we've got a cluster of thunderstorms even further down to our south and off to our west. So we're going to be watching all those over the next couple of hours. We've got that heavy rain across our area here out into Clemson, Anderson, into Greenville as well, and a lot of heavy rain up through the mountains, as well as some of that mixed precipitation that you see going on across parts of uh, the mountains as well. So we could on top of all of that have icy roadways also. Plus, we've got some of these flood advisories that have been issued here uh, just in the last little while. Uh, we have got these flood advisories that are uh, being issued for, they're not coming up for me right now, but in Greenville, into Pickens, Oconee County, as well as Polk, Henderson, and Transylvania counties, all of those areas have flood advisories in effect right now until uh, 1030 for P Henderson, as well as Transylvania County, Polk County, until uh, noon as well as Greenville 11 and then we've got uh, Anderson Oconee as well as Pickens County are all under that advisory as well until we get to uh, noon today. So taking a look at some of these rainfall totals that we've got going on across our area already since things really started to get going around midnight. You can see that these rainfall totals are now uh, up to around two inches in some spots where we're at two inches in just over two inches into towards Tacoa. Uh, Clemson is seen about just shy of two inches as well as well as up towards Asheville. GSP now up to 1.7 inches of rain already so far and around an inch and a half in Anderson. And you can see some of those lower rainfall totals down into Greenwood, Spartanburg and Elberton. That's really just more so because uh, you haven't seen the rain quite as long as everybody else. We still got more rain on the way as we head through the next couple of hours. Flooding concerns certainly going to be a big issue for us. Uh, we're expecting another several inches of rain before all of this wraps up as we get closer to three, four o'clock this afternoon. But we're keeping an eye on this from all levels, including with our boots on the ground, which is why we're taking a look right now out over Unity Park, where you can see some of that heavy rain has already led to some flooding, led to some flooding issues there. Plus, you're taking that live look out over our tower cam, where you can see some low visibilities from some of that heavy rain as well. That's going to be an issue for us here over the next several hours across our area. So we're going to continue, of course, to keep an eye on all of this as we head throughout the morning hours, ladies. Yeah, we're at Union Unity Park, as you mentioned, Chrissy, and uh, what you're seeing uh, is some pooling around one of the lights here on the grounds. Now, I did speak to a parks and grounds keeper here who told us that part of the Swamp Rapid Trail is actually closed off because of water covering the pathway. So that is closed between Hudson Street and the large bridge here at the park known as the Oro Bridge. So there's a section of the Swamp Rabbit Trail that is not available to joggers who we have seen out and about even in this weather this morning. But things are pretty soggy here as we showed you. There was pooling of water along there. Uh, you know, it's expected to get worse throughout the day. In fact, uh, the parks and grounds keeper told us that he wouldn't be surprised if the other part of the trail is also covered and they'll have to block that off as well. So we are seeing crews out and about looking at any problem areas and uh, again jogging along the Swamp Rabbit Trail in the Unity Park area.
will be a problem because it is not available. Now, we did take some video earlier this morning of Cleveland Park where you could see pooling there taking place as well. We also saw some public works crews out and about keeping an eye on things there, but uh, definitely some pooling of the water. It's a low-lying area, so a uh, very soggy day throughout Greenville uh, in the parks areas, uh, places where people would normally gather on a nice day, but